Welcome back to Factorio, episode 11. I had done an entire episode with commentary and everything, and uh, I don't know what happened to my audio, so this is all four times speed, it's going to be a short episode, but uh, yeah. Anyway, you can see over to the left a while back, I had a gigantic amount of solar panels, and uh, I'm starting to speed up a few belts that uh, have all that stuff. And I had all these accumulators and a blueprint for a power facility that I never finished because I thought it would stick around and I forgot that uh, blueprints don't have uh, timers. Or that blueprints have timers. Anyway, uh, what I've got here is a input box for all of my purple goo, which is now being put onto the line, which is good. So now that I have the ability to make purple stuff, my science facility is complete. Hooray. So now, pretty much, what I'm gonna do is set up all these accumulators, which should give me plenty of power production, which, as I saw there for a split second, was quite a bit. Anyway, we finished rocket damage one, and we're gonna get basic exoskeleton and power armor done. And here is my new primary ore smelting facility, and finally, the start of the main bus, which we will be using for all the resources that we're gonna need. Those uh, old facilities are going to be used for pretty much just pure science production. And I'm just extending the dual copper, dual iron line way out here. I'll probably have to make a dedicated iron and steel line soon. But anyway, let's get started on basic production. So I know I'm going to need iron gear wheels for a lot of things, so basically I'm working on getting a iron gear wheel, iron gear wheel uh, facility up and running. There we go. Inserters on either sides, inserters in the center. Belt down and replace that factory because I accidentally picked it up run the iron gear wheel line all the way down and then just connect it with power and there we go iron gear wheels and I'll probably need a little bit more iron gear wheels that is a lot of iron that is a heck of a lot of iron and my power is still fine just on solar power all right four more Let's just duplicate the line, bring the lines up on both sides, line down center. Power up and running, lights installed, and blueprint duplicated. Now I have eight facilities making those. Let's time to make, well it is time to make copper. We're gonna follow the exact same design as the iron gear wheels. We'll just run the splitters down just like we did on those. Looks nice and symmetrical, very pretty. There we go. Run this all the way down for copper cable. And iron down, connect power, and there we go. It's up and running. Lights installed. And there we go, we've got uh, copper wire lines. Hooray. All right, next is getting uh, belts, fast belts and underground belts automated. Here's my weird little facility for this so this basically makes transport belt which then feeds onto a line which then feeds my underground belt facility and then those are going to be going into logistics chests which I finished research for off screen which is good because then I'll have those to be hey you know logi robots I want inserters or belts or whatever whenever I need them So I was trying to figure out where to do the splitters and then I saw that I needed circuits and I don't have circuits except for the ones that I'm building so basically it's making circuits next although I messed or, or faffed around with this for a little bit and didn't really do anything with it so uh, circuit production so circuits take uh, coils and iron plate so now that I have uh, circuit production up we need to make 
or coil production up, I need big circuits. And it was pretty much just me messing around trying to figure out exactly how this is going to work. So what I was planning is an input line of copper and an input line of uh, coils. So I think what I'm doing now is getting the coils down and then getting the iron down. So clearing off those lines and then running a splitter on the bottom and then a splitter after that to help uh, balance the load and then doing uh, underground belts like that so I can continue those particular products down the line. Having a space in between the coil line so I can put circuits on the main bus and then putting in my inputs there's one for the copper cable and then we'll do the exact same thing for the iron as we did before so splitters cleaning off the belt doing the split line bringing that down clearing that out and there we go I've got copper cable and iron plate Although, now that I think about it in hindsight, I probably should have done the coils on the outside and then done the copper on the inside. Or done copper on the inside on the left and then copper on the inside on the right because those use a lot of copper cabling compared to iron plate. So iron plate will not be the issue. The throughput issue is definitely the uh, coils because those are running out really fast. The left side is fine, but that's taking priority directly off of the uh, coil facility. And that's even on that's even running on fast belt and it still doesn't have enough to uh, produce it as needed. And that's pretty much it. So anyway, if you did like the video, please do like the video and feel free to subscribe. This is that tiny dude signing out.